Hello everybody, my name is Box, and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are doing something a little bit different than usual but at the same time if you guys have stuck around with the channel for a little bit you know that we actually used to do these videos quite a lot a couple of videos back so today we are bringing back the 69 iron ingot challenge so you guys might have a couple of questions before we get into the run so I am going to be answering them and first of all you guys might have a question as to why did we abandon the challenge in the first place now i think i made it pretty clear on the final video that i that we did on this so basically when i was doing the 69 running challenge i think that i was only uploading that and even if it was fun i don't think i would watch a youtuber just do that over and over again i would get kind of bored and i also thought that you guys were also getting kind of bored watching that over and over again so i just thought that you know what we need some variation so that's what we did and you guys might have a better question as to why are we bringing it back because we've gone so far without doing it what happened so suddenly now even if i wasn't uploading the 69 ironing the challenge there has been a lot of things that has happened with the challenge and i have been creeping track of it but i just didn't upload anything of it so uh if you guys watch this channel you know that i actually recently started up a new survival series on a, a, a multiplayer server so it's the elemental smp server i'll leave a link on screen right now to the playlist of the server i believe we only have done four episodes so if you guys want to check that out if you already haven't already i would highly recommend doing that now the owner of that server actually watched uh i believe one of my videos and he decided that hey this challenge seems cool and i'm basically gonna make a server about it so he just made a complete discord server and a official website so this isn't one of the uh, speedrun.com websites this is a completely uh, independent website so that's kind of bonkers that he went to that type of a degree just because he liked the challenge so i'm gonna link uh, a i'm gonna leave some links down in the description to the discord server so even if you don't intend to run the challenge itself i would highly encourage you to go over there at least join the server because that way you can keep a, keep track of what has been added recently and what is going to be happening because recently we also are doing a tournament on the server. I'm not going to be up uploading any videos of it but my good friend Bastigaru who actually invented this thing actually ha has been uploading quite a lot of videos on this so I highly recommend you also go check him out. He's also going to be down in the description so go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, I would also really encourage you to go ahead and check the website out because it's again not the speedrun.com website, it's a completely independent one and it basically has all the leaderboards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the run. And also, spoiler alert the reason why I don't have world record in the title is because this isn't world record, but I just thought that you know what, since we haven't done this in quite a lo long while. And since this is, you know, doing so good right now, I might as well just post my PP. And who knows, if I get a world record, I'll also post that. So anyways, with all that out of the way, now let's get to the run. Alright, I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but the run is going to be completely unedited. That means that if I have any type of mistakes, I'm going to be leaving them just because I don't want to edit the run in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, hope you guys understood. Now let's get back to the run. Alright guys, so just before the run starts, I might as well inform you guys this, that we're doing something a little bit different for the run as well so usually i do a live commentary as always for you know the uh, challenges but this one we're gonna be doing this as a live voiceover so usually for voiceovers what i usually do is either record the video or the audio first and then basically mash them up in editing but th for this one we're just gonna have the video file playing and i'm just gonna be talking over that so uh, if i'm not that all that good please don't blame me blame me in the comment section because i have never done this before and also spoiler alert i don't really remember all that of the run and also another thing is that i actually didn't have the timer on screen that you see currently uh when i was running the seed and i i just remember that hey i don't really need to have the timer when i run i the moderators are gonna be retiming it anyways so yeah that saves a lot of lag but we are gonna be doing a retime by ourselves although this is gonna get retimed we might as well get an idea yeah so yeah, let's just get right into it. So uh, let me just start up the run and here we go. So here we go. I am loading up the world and actually, um, uh, you know, have developed another strategy for, uh, you know, making the world and it's a lot faster than this. I believe like, uh, what what are we on? Um, this is like uh, uh, 13 seconds in. That's awful. Like currently, I actually do, you know, uh, what you might call it, uh, creating worlds in like under 
six seconds or something like that. So yeah, I'm pretty good at that. Also, I'm really sorry that you guys can see my mouse. Uh, I just have to uh, have my mouse over that to, you know, activate the timer. But yeah, here we go. The world's loading up. And uh, I believe this was actually on my first attempt of the day. And I don't know what it, what it is, but the first attempt of the day usually is like the best attempt I'm ever going to get. Like, I have like a village spawn always. Don't really know what's up with that. It might honestly be a bug, but who knows? <laughs> Anyways, let's see while the word loads up. Now, just a thing to, you know, mention. I actually don't really remember all of this, like, all of the run, because I'm doing this quite a bit later than, I, you know, when I've recorded the run. Um, yeah, as, as the world loads up. So here we go. Um, yeah, I'm also going to, into this kind of blind, but I also have an idea. So as you guys can see, uh, we have ourselves a world, and I look uh, before and play uh, in front of and back, and here we go. So the run's now beginning, and I see a village. Obviously, I'm going to be running over to that, and yeah, that's basically the plan. I really didn't know what was in the village, and uh, spoiler alert, if you don't really have a blacksmith in, in, in the village, it's not really that worth going into because... Yeah, if if, it's, if there's no blacksmith uh, for 69 iron to speedrun, it doesn't really serve any purpose. But as you can see, we do have ourselves a blacksmith. I go in, and it's stacked! We have ourselves pretty much all iron and some food, which is kind of going to come in really handy. Although I grab all those hay bales, you can see that n pretty much all, uh, none of them are going to be helpful. So that's another thing. So uh, I come over to one of these houses to just... Uh, I was just scrolling around to see if there was another black set because that would have been insane, but unfortunately we don't. So I grab myself some wood, and uh, I might as well give you guys a pro tip. When you're doing uh, one of these runs, you don't need any more than three logs. So I might as well give, give some information, you know. And here I see some cobblestone, obviously from the church. So I decide that, hey, I might as well get the cobblestone from here. Now at this point, I wasn't really sure as to uh, how this run was gonna go. I was uh, like, uh, yeah, I'll play it through, I guess. So yeah, as you can see over here, I do exactly that. So I have myself my stone pickaxe, and I grab my crafting table, and I am off. I believe I actually also saw a cave, and now here you can see I make the biggest mistake in my flipping run. I, I, like, if you guys have seen, a blacksmith always has two furnaces, and... I basically just remember that as I entered this cave, so that was a horrendous play for me. I could have saved so much time and maybe even had a lot more furnaces than you can see. But here we go, uh, grabbing iron at the one, 1 minute and 48 second mark. Pretty cool, but as I said, if I would have grabbed uh, those two furnaces, it would have make, made a lot more of a difference. So here, it, it's odd that... My actual video that you guys are seeing right now is a lot more brighter than what I would see on my screen. But I guess that kind of makes sense because I was doing this in the day and, you know, I didn't have my curtains closed up. So, yeah. Also, this cave has a lot of iron, which is going to be really helpful because, you know, <laughs> this is the iron speedrun. So, that's really going to be in coming in nice. So, yeah. Most of the times, actually, in one of these runs, the caves are actually crap. So... That pretty much ki uh, kills the run most of the time, but here, as you can see, we have ourselves a lot of iron, and at the 2 minute and 30 minute mark, we already have like uh, 20 iron, which is am amazing. I almost missed that iron for a bit, but uh, it's just only one vein, so it wasn't really all that worth it. Now here, I actually don't have my uh, audio turned on, but I actually hear some skeletons, so that's why I look around for a bit and have my sword in my arm, so... That's the reason why I did that. It, it wasn't just out of pure extent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, we are getting quite a lot of iron. Like, this is absolutely bonkers. I believe, like, getting 20 iron at the 2 minute and 30 minute mark is actually, uh, like, world record pace. I don't think any of us have ever gotten that. And also, since I did tease you guys, um, currently, the world record is, I believe, like, an 806 run. I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, by and... Oh, also, this is on the pretty much the second most time waste I'm gonna get for for this run. So I come over here for you know seeing the for uh, the spawner, and I come over check these te tests. And usually they have uh, not usually they sometimes have iron, but this time they didn't. And yeah, that killed like I don't know like ten to fifteen seconds, um, which that would have made my run quite close. I'm not gonna obviously say 
what my time was. Also, as you can see over here, I grabbed coal already, so that's kind of handy. And I actually grabbed 10. Um, you can't really see that now, but I grabbed 10 because I want to make a set of forces because obviously, if you want to smelt uh, 69 uh, iron, iron ore, you're gonna need 9 coal. But obviously, I grabbed 10 because I want some torches, which is gonna be really, really helpful. So, yeah, here we go, grabbing iron. And yeah, we're off to a really good pace and having a great, having some great luck with this iron. So, pretty helpful. So, here we go, around about the 4 minute and 30 minute mark at 40 iron. We're doing pretty good, I would say. So that village was like an actual lifesaver because if I didn't have that, uh, yeah, obviously this run wouldn't be possible because, you know, I, I need a lot less iron. Actually, I did this math like it pretty much immediately after I got in the, uh, like the chest because, you know, it would have saved me a lot of time if I knew how much I got in and that's exactly what I did. So not having the chest laid and all the blocks we needed like 8 plus 45 which was 53 and as you can see we are already at 48 which is absolutely bonkers and i didn't actually see this vein before but here we go grabbing the iron and we are done i believe um i actually can't remember so yeah 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 we are currently done so as i am done i grab my crafting table make some furnaces and obviously as i said i re realized that i didn't grab all my um what you might call it furnaces uh, at the village Pretty much after I uh, entered the cave, so that was a huge mistake. But as you can see, here I tried, I tried optimizing the coal. So I threw in 32 uh, uh, iron ore with 4 coal, which is the optimization that you need. Here we go. Uh, I have my second furnace ready. So that is twice the seed. And just for all of you guys who are wondering, a single item requires 10 seconds of smelting in a regular furnace. And obviously in the blast furnace, which I obviously didn't get because if I did, this would have been easily world record. It spills at half the time. So that would have been really helpful, but as I said, we don't really have it. So we are here at the 6 minute and 10 second mark, and I'm thinking, hey, this, this seems like a really cool run. I might get a world record, but who knows. And I am splitting up the iron quite a lot, as you can see, because I'm getting cobblestone like a madman. So here we go. I believe I split the two furnaces like evenly, which I like. I think save a lot of time. So here we go, splitting the coal up into there, and I see that I don't have enough coal for smelting up nine uh, ore, so I grab one more, throw it in, and here we go. With four furnaces, I now have to wait for I believe a minute because after a minute, it it is a dead run if you're going for world record. So I grab all my iron, we have 18, so I first of all grab my chest plate, grab my chest plate, jeez, and uh, make one block. So I'm currently at full iron and one block, so basically need four more blocks to finish it. So I keep on grabbing my iron. Um, the furnaces are kind of low, actually pretty low, honestly. Uh, I grab my second block, place it down, and that's a tip I would highly give to anyone because... If you just, you know, have the block in your inventory, waiting for placing all of them down at once, not the best idea. I wouldn't really recommend all that much. But here we go, grabbing almost the third block. And um, yeah, the first furnace is not done. And I noticed that the second furnace uh, actually doesn't, uh, like, has a lot. So I go ahead, grab my uh, fifth furnace, which I don't actually think I end up using. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, here we go. Uh, that's almost melted up. I believe I actually should have, uh, you know, split it up. I don't think I split it up. I don't know. I actually don't remember at all because it was like a couple of days ago. Who knows? Um, we are at 18 iron, so I believe we are like one block shy. We are. So I have placed down my fourth, and I'm just waiting for nine more ingots. And I believe at this point we are uh, far from the world record pace. Just off that, uh, with 18 or 20 seconds at the point. I might as well grab my timer because we are running towards the end. So here we go. Uh, final four pieces. I have my sixth one. There we go. The number number seven. Uh, that's the eighth. And I believe the right corner has the ninth. So there we go. Oh no, that one. And if I make it up and place it down. So at the eight minute, 39 seconds and 28 milliseconds, I have every single thing. 
I eat a apple because why the flip not? And uh, I just give you guys the affirmation. I have all the iron uh, tools. Also, this is an incredible bug bug because as you can see, I, gr I eat the apple towards my left, which is kind of interesting. Have my full iron. Have my four blocks. I guess you got stressed because I couldn't see my fifth. But there we go. And I believe I'm now gonna sign off. And there we go. Okay. So let me just grab it because uh yeah, rather than just having this on like a black screen, I think it would quite really make sense. So there we go. On the eight minute, thirty nine seconds, twenty eight milliseconds, we have finished our run. I believe again that is like a second place. Like no, that is highly second place. Our previous time was uh twelve minutes and forty eight seconds, if I can remember correctly. But obviously the moderators had to go be a jerk, and they decided that hey. This is a 12 minute 48 second run? Heck no, that's a 30 minute run. So yeah, I'm really not pleased about that. But for this run, we absolutely crush it by four and a half minutes. Actually, uh, all nearing seven? No, uh, nearing four minutes, yeah. So yeah, this was a really great run. I am willing to crush the world record, which I again believe is like eight minutes or 8.06 or something like that. But um, yeah, that was my PB. It feels really good to be back with this after a long time. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm really, really sorry because if I was, you know, bad with the commentary because this is my first time doing it. So obviously I'm getting bad, but hope you guys bear through it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more of the 69 Iron Gun Challenge, make sure to subscribe button and turn on notifications. But with all that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.